world. <laughs> I'm so used to looking at. I took the Alexa away that was over here, so she wouldn't. Talk. Oh, did you? Yeah, but now I said her name, and um, if we're live, other people can. I'm always just waiting for Sue or Jamie to tell us that we're live in the chat. Hey, we are live. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> <coughs> okay. No, oh, or listen to Holly's computer to let me yeah. know. Um, welcome, everyone. Happy Friday the 13th. The um, first one of the year. I don't know if there'll be more. <laughs> I guess so. It's the yeah. first 13th yeah. of the year. Right. <laughs> the year. <clears throat> so, um, it's Friday, so we're doing we're doing a new image sets. I don't practice what I'm gonna say before the video. I don't know if that's clear. If you guys haven't realized, I don't I don't practice what I'm gonna tell you guys in the beginning. Well, it'd be videos. a little weird to practice, like yeah, because we're, we're still my yeah. friends. Hi everyone, we got Marianne, Irma, Ella, Dawn, Jamie, Sue, Annie. Joanne, Deanna, Lynn, Nikki, Annie. Irma, hello Marianne. everyone. We got a good group in here today. We... Hi, Shirley. Shirley just joined in. Okay, I need to. Oh, you have to give me host. Oh yeah, I gotta make you host. That's right. <laughs> Over here, we got snow here today. Ew, I put yeah, jeans on today. <laughs> I put jeans on today. And what's the high supposed to be? The high or what it is right now? Um, I'll give you both. Let's see. The Hi, high. Kay, Alicia, Tammy, Diana. The high oh, is 62, and it's currently 60. Ooh. We got it's a little... chilly. Yeah, it rained. It, it started raining at like 4 o'clock this morning. So it brought in a cold Hi, front. Hi, Okay, I'm sure it's green. Yeah, I'm cold today too, Shirley. Isn't there something else? I got like my hoodie zipped up because it's it's freezing. I just look outside and see snow, which I think just makes me colder. Yeah, hundred <laughs> like percent. It makes me colder. <laughs> Ooh, Nikki, that's freezing rain is the worst. Yeah. Okay. I know it always makes me jealous when I ask Alex what his weather is because it's always better than here. <laughs> Aw, Annie, you are awesome. She said, you guys are my favorite way to start the weekend. That's awesome. That's good to hear. Friday. I'm so glad. It is a good way, right? Get up Friday with our crafty friends and see what's new. On images. And then if we don't have a lot of new image sets, we'll find another um, creator like we did last time. Yeah. So that They were funny. Right. Their images were so funny. Birthday, <coughs> birthday retro cartoons. Hi, John. And if you guys Hi, don't, Neil. if you don't know how to get to the new images, you go to the little images over to here to the left, and then it will bring you to this page. And then over on the left, underneath highlighted categories, you go to image sets, and then it brings you here. And then you click on that one. Oh. <clears throat> Shirley, that's a really good idea. Yeah, she yeah. wants to make Valentine mugs to put a cake and a cup in. That's a good idea. I like it. I do. I got the mug press here and you do some things. That's a good idea. I like the uh, all the cup head type feels. Faces, yeah. <laughs> a little birthday cake with a little yeah. birthday hat. It's cute. <laughs> Hanging from the banner. Like, Hang on. That's like when you're like going over the hill or something birthday, like the one where he's... <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what else they remind me of? Like the old school, like... Like when you went to the drive in the drive in movie and they would have the commercials let's yeah. all go to the like the concession stand, yeah. you know, they'd have like the little popcorn intermission pop guy. Whatever. Yeah, that's what they, those little faces remind me of. I mean they are retro, so Right. <laughs> a little ice cream sandwich. Right, with a little hat. <laughs> <laughs> 
and balloons. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to and get ourselves a snack. Ain't that what it says? I'm pretty sure. I got some deja vu right now. <laughs> Dawn said I made her sing it, yeah. so I guess it is. Yep. It's <laughs> dropping. This, this one's lighting his own candle. <laughs> he's setting he's, himself on fire. I hate yeah, to tell him. He's tooting his own his own horn. <laughs> Layered paper scenes. Paper scenes. Six images. Ooh, these are neat. Oh, these are fun. These like are for cool. shadow boxes. Yeah, this would be really good for shadow boxes. Is that a horse or is that a unicorn? Is that a unicorn? This is a unicorn. Oh, oh my gosh. This might be what Jamie, Jamie's like, you've got to look at the new images, image set. And my computer was, I got to uninstall and reinstall design space. This may be what she was talking about. because These are fabulous. Oh, I think... These are so cool. <clears throat> I want to bring these into the canvas. <laughs> I'm like so excited for these. Uh, Jamie said that is what she was talking about. Oh. So that one's really These cool. are so neat. So these would work great the way I used to make my shadow boxes. Because that back paper is cut through all the way. So you would put lights uh -huh. behind there and then it would look like stars and the moon coming through. Oh, I'm going to make one of these for a project. We're doing it. You know I'm making the unicorn. I know you are. And then we'll get the lights. You'll have to send me the link for the lights. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, Jamie, I definitely will. That one's cool, too. Okay. Uh, Joanne asks, can infusible ink sheets be put on cricket wood? They I have not put it on wood. I don't believe so. I don't believe it's got the... You would have All infusible to... ink things have kind of coating on them that the infusible ink adheres to. Right. The... What is that coating called? Like, can you buy that coating somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> they just say there's a coating. I don't know. No. Um, you can put it on. I don't know if you've seen the video I did the other day um, where I put the infusible ink on the Cricut aluminum sheets. That gives a super cool effect. I put vinyl on it, but you can also engrave it, which I'll do in another video too. Yeah, sub coating. Well, this is a weird. bunny corn. That's a great idea, Eddie. I went to click on this, but it's close to my heart, but zero images. Oh, I, there's something going okay, on. Okay, I'm gonna have to let Cricket know. Yeah. Can we go? Hold on. We need to go more into those layered paper scenes. People dig these. Like, okay. can we look at that Mandala one? And yeah, I want to look at this one too, and then that one as well. So, oh, the one that these I are really neat. You mean the one I didn't choose as well? This one. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Maria. Welcome. So. The red is the background, so that's what doesn't have a back. And it's just one, two, three, four, five, six layers. I was looking at the weeding in there, like, how much weeding is it? You got some holes to... And you um, can contour that some, too, I bet. If you didn't want so many of the little holes to, like, pop, pop out, or poke out around it. <laughs> yeah. It's really just this one that will be kind of annoying to deal with, but yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. Those are so neat. Didn't you make one for my mom? Uh, for, or your, for your dad. One. For grandpa. I made a golf one. A golf one. Yeah. I was like, I know i seen one of my parents had one. It says the villages on it. They are all pretty. And you um, might be able to grab layers from other ones. Yeah. Like, I made it. What was the card I used? There's a werewolf design like this. Because I took it apart. 
and contoured it. Which oh, it was when I made um, it was a Halloween card I made, and it had the witch on the front flying, and she was connected to trees, and there was like a cat on her broom, and there was I can't remember all of it, but I took a background from that werewolf thing, and then added stuff and changed stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, I've had a I've had a little bit of a cold. I'm, it's like over with now. I cannot answer that right now. You just sound crappy still, but you're just left. Oh well, hopefully <clears throat> that the song is, <laughs> my words. Hopefully that passes soon, Don. <laughs> of July. Makes me want a hot dog real bad. Well, these are fun. Every time I see Fourth of July, I've thought that. I'm going to add my birthday, July. I'm going to look at the calendar. So this is... See what it is. Yeah. They have little drawings at the bottom. So a bunch of different... So they make sublimation coating kits that you can brush on multi-surfaces. That's pretty cool. My birthday. Oh, your birthday's on the weekend. Look yeah. at that. These are cute. A little house. And it's fun. It is. Now, does it have... No, I was going to say, does it have, like, the holidays written on there, but it no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because so I was like, oh, is my birthday on Thanksgiving next year? <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, it is Canada Day. My birthday. Cute birthday puppies. Oh, that's true, Nikki. The background woods from the unicorn would be cool for other things, too. Absolutely. And that background woods might have been, like, the one that was a background in the werewolf one, even. Oh, cute. Who doesn't love puppies and presents? Puppies are adorable. My mom always wanted that big dog, or the dog with the big ears. My mom always wanted a dog with yeah. big ears so we could gizmo. And that's what the those big they could be a gizmo. Oh, those are so cute and kitties. Or is it a puppy? I mean, is they're all kitty? puppies. They're all puppies. Oh, it looks like it could be the one with the little cupcake on his head. I thought it was a oh. kitty, but I was like, wait, these are all dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, she wanted one of these dogs. <laughs> Don't ask me what that is. Do you remember this? <laughs> it looks like a sheep. A Bichon Frise, okay? A Bichon Frise. Uh, we were, when I was, I don't know, 11 or something, we were out to breakfast with my grandma Gibbs, and she had a pin on. We went to church that day, and she had a pin on, and it was in the shape of that dog. And I didn't know how to pronounce the name. And I said, oh, that's a, I can't say it. That's a. It sounds like Bashan, but if you didn't know that that's how it's pronounced, it's a bit freeze, is what I said. And they, like, stopped and were stunned, and I'm like, the dog. And they started cracking up. They're like, it's a Bashan frise. <laughs> <laughs> and I called it a something that starts with a B, because I didn't know how to pronounce it, you know? I was that's just so funny. proud I knew what kind of dog that was. <laughs> so from <laughs> that day forward, we've always called it the, what I thought it was called. Yeah, yeah, of course. It could be a poodle. It could be a Maltese, even. Thanksgiving is five days before your birthday this year. Awesome. Yeah, is there a catacorn? That's a good idea, too. We made a catacorn on something. What was that? Remember? Yeah. I was like, it's not a catacorn, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, no, that my ears that I was wearing, we were both... I remember I made, this was years ago for Ducky for her birthday. She was probably maybe nah, eight or nine, um, and she was really into sharks, so I used the cricket. She's 16. She's about to be 17 next month. Um, I used the cricket, and I made her a cake topper, and I made a shark horn. So it was a shark with a unicorn horn, which now that I think about it, kind of like a Norwal, but not because it was a shark, <laughs> but a shark corn. Lost oh, count. that's too cute, Gail. A catacorn. 
Did you see Ducky got her tattoo yesterday? No, I see Nikki says I love Ducky's tattoo, and I'm like, I didn't know oh, she I got a tattoo. That. She did. She got her first tattoo yesterday. She got it in memory of Melody. She wanted a butterfly on her shoulder. Oh, nice. Um, but she wanted black and gray, and I go, well, that's not very Melody like, like. And she doesn't want color. So she's like, well, I'm going to twist on it. So the top of the butterfly, she said, it's like an artsy twist. You know, it's got like swirls. It's different than a regular butterfly. And the bottom of the butterfly is normal. That way it's got a little art created yeah. twist to it, you know, instead of just the plane. And then she's talking about the Care Bear tattoo that we each want to get. Um, and I was like, what are you going to do? Get a black and gray Care Bear? She goes, oh, I didn't think of that. And then we're like, what are we going to call it? Sadness Bear? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, no, I can't do that. Birthday dinosaurs. I love them. That's awesome. Look at the brontosaurus. He's got his whole <laughs> so cute. Oh. I love how they just decorated themselves for the birthday. Like they are the decoration. You're right, right. They're like birthday. Just put it is big Gail. I told her to go smaller. The guy was gonna make it bigger. I'm like, no, it's gonna wrap around. She doesn't, you know. She doesn't understand. At least hers looks way better than our first ones did. My first one's not bad. No, your yeah, yours was really good. Mel, was she had an appointment with another girl, and I pulled up the pictures. I said, Madison, I said, look at these. She can't do symmetry. The wings are deformed. I'm like, right. these are really bad. And I it's... found another artist. I'm like, look at his. <clears throat> it's uh -oh. tough. <laughs> little dinosaur blowing out his candles. These are so cute. With like the balloons on the tail. He could. They could be like Christmas ones too. Like the ones that don't have the balloons. Right. The one that looks like he has lights around him and like presents. <laughs> oh wait, can we just talk about that dinosaur right there? He's got the little helicopter spinny hat. Yeah, and he's he's all tied up. That's so funny. A little T Rex eating the cake. The cake is so big and so next, right next to him, so we can reach it. <laughs> like realistically, though, could a T Rex get their arms to their mouth? I don't think. Yeah, they could. I don't think so either. I was thinking that too. I was <laughs> like, I don't think that's possible. Oh, <laughs> cute. Yeah, it's important to check out their art ability, especially when it's on you for life, you know. I my I have a butterfly on my ankle and I it's like way down there. I had to take a picture of it yesterday. It's got purple and teal in it though. My butterfly does. Powered by pixie dust. That's cute. I love Tinkerbell. I do believe in fairies. Ducky was talking about that. She goes, oh, so girls are getting, like, butterfly tattoos on their back wings. And she showed me, and she's like, then when you wear a dress, it's like you're, you're a um, fairy. And I go, I'll just call you Tink <laughs> if you do that. <laughs> Pixie dust is in my veins. I love that. Powered by Pixie dust and wine. <laughs> Liquid Pixie dust. And what? All you and need is faith, dust. trust, and a little pixie dust. I love the Tinkerbell movies. <laughs> Me and Ducky watched all of them. They're so good. You probably haven't seen one of them, have you, Alex? I may have seen one. <laughs> They're so good. I love fairies. I used to collect fairies. We were talking about that the other day. I'm like, what happened to my fairy collection? Like, I had collector fairies. That sucks for them. I guess I've always liked the magical stuff. Fairies, unicorns. I just like magic. If fairies were... If they were real... You put fairies... <laughs> you just have a bunch of fairies in a box. You're my collection. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be one I said I wanted to get a tattoo of forever. It was the crescent moon, and it had the fairy sitting on the moon. Uh, oh, okay. I'm cracking up though with Gail. She said, yeah, poor Barney loved everyone, but could only pat them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. 
They did. They turned into gnomes, which are also magical. See, Nikki? I just like magical stuff. Keep the magic alive. I should make a shirt that says that. Keep the magic alive. And have a unicorn and a gnome and a fairy. <laughs> yeah. A Bigfoot. What is this This is uh, Mystical Moon Outline Icons. That's all of them. Neat. I was like these. I was thinking they're like some kind of like zodiac or something. I haven't heard of yet. And then we saw Year of the Rabbit. I think we've we seen the see second one. I don't think we've seen yeah, that we, one. We didn't see this one yet. What is that bunny? Is it a boat? I was wondering. What is? It just says a rabbit, but I don't know what that's in. Cute. I wonder what next year's the year of. The dog. I don't feel like it's a boat, but I have no idea what it is. What are your guys' thoughts? What is that that the rabbit has? I'm very like, what is that? A sombrero. It does look like a sombrero. Looks kind of like a Chinese hat. Oh, that could be. A noodle bowl. Lunar New Year. <laughs> they just make it a cute little bunny. <laughs> Almost looks like Bucky's. It does. It looks like Bucky's <coughs> a bunny, though. <clears throat> right. Did you oh, see my God. photo that I got with Bucky, the the Bucky's guy? Because he was there one time. Yeah. That's like meeting a movie star. I know. You met Bucky. Did you see Lisa Marie Presley died? No. Yeah, she passed away yesterday. That's crazy. She was only 54. How old was Elvis when he passed? Uh, like 42. He like oh, wow. I think he was 42. Okay. I was, when I heard Lisa Marie in my head, I was thinking Priscilla, and then it was like, Lisa Marie, like, holy cow. Did you know she married Nicolas Cage? You know she married Michael Jackson, but I was reading about her, and I was like, it didn't last long. She was only married, like, for four months to Nicolas Cage, but I did not know she married Nicolas Cage. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Me either. So this is Apple, so we're, Apple Grove design. We're in recently added images now. Oh, okay. So we can just scroll, and then if we see an artist we like, then we'll just like yeah. go into them. These are neat. Those happy birthday. So you want to look at Helen Barlow? Yeah, let's check her out. Those are neat. Elvis would have been eighty-eight a few days ago. I think you're right, Don, because 1977 is when my husband was born, and he says that, I, that Elvis. Those cards are neat. So, I love the cupcake, the rainbow, and the stars. She's from Manchester, UK. She's got 217 images. Let's follow her. Always give the follow. Yeah. So we'll go through these, and then we'll look at her shared projects. That happy birthday one, too, you could do for, like, Valentine's Day for a masculine birthday. Yeah. Uh, you can change that to happy Valentine's. Oh, angel baby. Nobody wants to think of that. I love you more, the end, I win. <laughs> <laughs> funny no i love you more she's just like you know what i love you more the end there's no battle and then you can oh, so next year and it's blue the dragon very cool. it's blue and you can actually change that too so it doesn't you know say love helen <laughs> or if you really want to confuse them next yeah. year's the year of the dragon that should be really oh, that's cool. cool and all these are editable images 
I love how every time we say editable, we really think about. Yeah, we have to focus on editable. Editable. How many editors are there in editable? Little bunny's cute. No, the penguin. Penguin. Elvis died on Gail's birthday, August sixteenth. Well, you will never forget that, will you, Gail? That's my cousin Sawyer's birthday. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. The the kitty. Look at the kitty with the butterfly. Yeah. I like all these. Yeah, I these are really these. cool. I like these. These are really nice. Those are really nice. Is that a, a head? It is a hedgehog. I'm like, what's that? Blue yeah. One? He's a hedgehog. These are so cute. And that purple bunny with the floral yeah. the circle going around is really neat for a card. Here you go. All love, you need trust, is love. trust, love, and a little fairy dust. Like the chicken, right, Dawn? The chicken was so cute. Jamie's chickens are over there. Feed in the neighborhood with all these egg prices. Holy cow. Want some chickens? Oh, the winking. Um, we were on Helen. These are no, these are just recently added. Is that right, Alex? No, these are on Helen's. Oh, these are still on Helen's. Yeah. Oh, okay. So these were we'll scroll up oh, when we get done, but it's look at that. There's an Easter bunny with a carrot sleigh. And there's bunnies. Oh, that is so cute. That's hey, adorable. favorite that. Can you bookmark that one? Yeah. That's so cute. That way I can go back later to it and do something with it because it's so cute. Yeah. The truck. With the... Yeah. For each season, you can do the truck with something in it. Right. You know, there's hard pink in it for Valentine's. No, oh, these are cute. Oh, yeah, there's the truck with the hearts. Yep. <laughs> this is cool. Scatter love. That Just is like cool. all the 12 roses. like the, Yeah. I like that scatter love one, too, with the dandelions oh, and yeah. the ends of them are the hearts. Yeah. Uh, and you, at the end, we'll scroll up to the top and show the content, the creator's name again. Yeah, yeah. This is what an oh awesome grandma looks like. Oh, oh bunny with the, the snowflake. snowflake. These are so cute. Such a simple idea and so the cute. Butterflies. What does that say? I don't know. Eid, I'd I'd move Barack. That's a, Mubarak. I don't know. Anybody know what that means? <laughs> Let that oh, that's adventure true, begin. Yeah, it would make a great slimline card because of the way it's thin and narrow. The flamingos. Drink, like. Oh, those are cute. Spooky vibes. The Boo Crew. Oh, it's a Islamic greeting. Ah, uh, okay. Rainbow, Rainbow, the hearts. Upside down hearts. Some baby stuff. This would be a cool, um, almost like a lantern. Yeah. You could put acetate, too, for, like, the see-through window. Yeah. You could even make it a shaker card and put snowflakes inside, and then when you shake it, it'd be, like, snowflakes coming right. down. Those are fun. A lot of days until Christmas, thank goodness. It's countdown Christmas. I wonder if anybody starts at, like, the beginning of the year. Like, the day <coughs> after Christmas, they start 365 days until Christmas. Yeah. There we go. It's Helen Barlow. Being a create, being creative is a way of life. Embrace every opportunity to create wonderful things. 
I feel grateful for the time I spend with my passion of designing new creative images and even better that I can share them in this wonderful design space. Happy Cricket, everyone. And then she has seven shared projects. Oh, that truck car is, that Merry Christmas truck car is really neat. Yeah, oh yeah, that's cool. Did I call it a truck car? Yeah, (laughs) truck car, (laughs) not truck card. Yeah. An elf. (laughs) Carmen says, yes, I end that person 346 days till Christmas. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, the flamingos, Carmen. We know Melody. Melody was a flamingo fanatic. A flamingo fanatic. All right. We just went through all the Christmas stuff trying to make room in the, the garage. And Matt's like, we have all this stuff when your parents moved they gave us. And I was like, well, those were ornaments from my grandma's. Well, those were from my <laughs> parents. And like, like we're going to keep them forever? I don't know, but I can't get rid of them. They're right. my memories. <laughs> just put them up in the rafters. Especially the little village set. My dad and me painted like the whole village that went with the train going around it and everything. Like that was my whole childhood we had. I that remember that. Village set. Wasn't it cool? Yeah. He had a Lionel train. And the Lionel train was so cool. My favorite part was it had the one cart that was like the milk delivery cart. And so you'd stop it yeah. and go to the platform. And have a little button. And then he'd push out the little metal like milk jug. Yep. I love that. All right. So. Oh, I didn't know that, Gail. She made the flamingo for the sliding door at the crafting house. Yeah. That's awesome. I did not know that. We have a Patreon at the Crafting House right now, Marlene. So I hope she's enjoying it and having fun. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over there probably on Monday. Say hey to them. Yeah, I like the village sets. There's um, there's a Christmas store in Gatlinburg, or in Pigeon Forge that I went to. And on my... On my Beard Adventures channel, I have a video of showing all their different things they have there. It's really cool. So I always like a lot of designs, too, from Wisp. I think it's Wispy Willows or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> have a good trip, and they got a station wagon with it. It makes know, me think of... It, uh, <laughs> the family vacation. Or is that an SUV? Maybe That's it's an a, SUV. This is an SUV here. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious what their other stuff is, so I'm just going to click on it. They have 170 images. Do you want me? Do you want to be? Oh, my godfather. Yeah, my godfather. Oh, that's neat. The best friends one where they're like, yeah. Yeah. Pimenta. Those it's, are cute. It's uh, those editable. Are cute numbers. <laughs> editable. Whatever this says. That's cute. Cupid's delivery service. Cute. I'm working on a card, too, a Valentine's Day card. The lenticular. I'm not putting that extra R in there. Yeah. That lentricular. I did before. <laughs> I was trying to find my lentricular. Oh, look, unicorn numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got so distracted. <laughs> the mermaid one is super cool too. Right. Um, but I was trying to find my I'm putting lentricular and or lent, I was spelling it correctly and it wouldn't find it. I'm like, I know I have this project. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on a, a Valentine's lenticular card. I was hoping I could get like Cupid to shoot an arrow and the arrow would come across, but it doesn't quite work. <laughs> I have a lot of friends that have doodles. That squirrel. That is exactly me. <laughs> It's ADHD at its finest. <laughs> I have a lot of a lot of friends that have doodles. I should make them a doodle card. You should. I love my golden. I love them with the sunglasses. Yeah, and the bow tie. The gnomes love the gnomes. Mm. Which doodles look a lot like cockapoos too. Yeah, they're pretty similar. It's corn. <laughs> oh 
That was a fad, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was that was short lived. It was. Eat, play, love, <laughs> live, love, bark. <laughs> Jamie's and Ali having a conversation out of nowhere. Oh look, unicorn! <laughs> that is just totally me. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, I guess I should have a shirt that says, we'll break for unicorns. Or like a bumper sticker. Right. I don't have bumper stickers on my car, but if I did. Oh, look. <laughs> look at this one. I should make a decal, though. Here you go. the back window that says, we'll break for unicorns. Oh, that's cute. The Halloween unicorn. Okay. They have five <laughs> shape projects. It's okay. I do the same thing with pandas. Look, they, I do the same thing for you for pandas, Jamie. Whenever I see something, I'm like, oh. They um, made a catacorn. Earlier, been... Oh, by the way, we just started the monthly giveaway. So four people are going to win $125 each to spend at Cricket. And you can enter in the links or in the video description. Make sure to and check that out. The 27th. Well, I was going to do five winners at 100, but I did four at 125 just because there's like a lot of really good bundles for like yeah. 100 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, that way they could get some more with it. Hi, Gloria. A uh, catacorn. Oh, I hope you're endo endoscopy. Am I saying that right? Endoscopy. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying it wrong. I hope it went well. Thanks for the thumbs up. Unico Unicornio? <laughs> Unicornio. Catacornio? Oh, that might be in Spanish. Does that yeah. how they say unicorn in Spanish? I'm guessing. Hey, there's a catacorn. We I know. A catacorn, girl. That's cute. Illustrator and graphic designer, Cricket Lover. I love coming up with new designs to help bring your crafts to life. And they're from Peru. Awesome. Love Lima, Peru. All right. How do you find projects made from certain crafters? So you can type it in right there, right? Yeah. And then it will pull it up. Yeah, you can search images, projects, fonts, and profiles. It's already been 40 minutes. Wow. Time goes by uh, quick in these videos. Anybody been organizing for the new year with labels? Has anybody else went label crazy? I mean, <laughs> I mean we're just, we just like blew up. We're just... <laughs> you get to look at us now. It's always fun. We have sample new image sets though this week. That was nice. Yeah, it was nice having some more than just two. No. So a month from now, we'll be on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, it's crazy. I know. Crazy. There's so much to do. <laughs> I know. And my dad really wants me to be at his, he's got like um, a thing happening. So it ends the 18th, right? The cruise? Yeah. Yeah. I'm debating on flying to Illinois for a couple days um, because my dad's thing is on the 19th. And I told him I can't make it. I was like, I can't do it. And Yeah, you'd have to like fly back with us. Yeah, I, I looked up I looked up flights today and I found a like a one way ticket because I'd rather just do one way and then a, a random one way back because I don't know exactly mm -hmm. when I would come back because I, I feel like if I go up there I should at least just stay up there for a couple days. Um, because I've, yeah. I haven't been there since August. Um, but if I do that, I mean, I found a one-way ticket from Miami for $142. So I'm like, that's not bad. So. It's not bad. Because I'm glad I bought the tickets when I did because I keep checking because if they go cheaper, you can get, like, credit yeah, and they have not went. Right. Through. So, like, I looked the other day, and I was like, wow, they're way more than I paid. So, right. thanks for that. Um, oh, Joanne wants to Alex, why were you so dressed up the other day? So, it was... I just seen this thing, actually. It was my friend's going away party, and we like to do themes around here now. Um, <laughs> so, it's very new to me. Um, 
so we asked her, we're like, what what theme would you like? And she's like, how about prom night? So that's why I had my suit done. I had full-on suit, three-piece suit. It was very warm, very warm. Um, <laughs> and then nobody expected me to wear a full-on suit. So it was a good time. And I've had that suit for five years. And I've never worn it. So. Oh, really? Yeah. It looked really good. Yeah. I was like, wow. I didn't even see this. Alex was like, did you see my picture? And I didn't. So before we went live, I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, it was fun. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. We just got done looking at all different images. There was a lot of good ones, though. So if you want to go back and look at it, there were some good ones. Yeah. Um, we enjoyed the new shadow box. Well, I call them shadow box ones. They're not technically right, shadow box. But ones. they look like shadow box. My phone is blowing up. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I muted it, but I did not. Um, or right, they're going off in surround sound over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a funny story. So Sue, so Sue Badinsky was telling me that her granddaughter came over and she knew she had been organizing her craft room. So her granddaughter Maggie was helping her organize. And she had put like, like uh, what she thought was paper together. And then Sue was like, oh, that's not paper, that's cardstock. And then her, she said, you know, my teacher said there's a shortage in cardstock. She's like, I'm blaming you and I'm going to tell my teacher on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jamie's like, oh, don't let her see what I got too. You know, right. I was like, oh, quality or now me because I got the racks too. And, yeah. you know, color order of every color possible. I'm like, could she have another shade? I don't think so. Um, but then Jamie's like, oh, we can be sellies. It was just really funny. It was cracking me up about the cardstock shortage. I think we all have contributed to apparently this cardstock shortage of that. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I, ha I will say I haven't ordered anything in a while and I feel like I shouldn't because I have so much 12 by 24 paper that I could cut in half to make oh yeah there's tons of it don't i lost a lot of my 12 by 24 when the water came in my my basement through the floor so i had to throw a lot of that away oh, i did yeah. keep some because i'm tie-dyed so I'm gonna yeah use some of that i like that i want to i want to do that i want to ruin paper yeah. on purpose <laughs> yeah i'll paper. throw it away just iron it and now you got tie-dyed paper <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to organize because I have racks from Melodies. And so me and my daughter were trying to organize the colors. And then they were in an exact order. So, like, we were like, oh, we have them in order. And then I'll be like, I just found three more shades of green. And then we're like, what do we have to do? Move all of them to put these three shades in? We're like, oh. Madison's like, she's like, we need a color specialist here. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, is this lighter? That Like, where should this color go exactly? Yeah. I know that feeling. <laughs> Susan, I had to bring all my peeps down with me. She asked if my friends have that much, and I told her yes. <laughs> oh, very fun. Very fun. I'll be designing. Why is my new craft class? I do not know. I got to get my new computer to go live. I haven't restreamed yeah. on it. Um, uh, I need to do that. I'm working on a card, too, for Valentine. So in a lenticular... And then I'm working on a masculine one using some of the Cricut leather. Okay. Um, so when I do that, I will go live with that. But I've, I will post um, in a great thing. I have put on my calendar now, uh, on my calendar, like, that I actually write on uh, in my hallway, mm -hmm. uh, different days to design a card. So then it, like, gets me oh. to go, even if I don't have an idea, just sit here and think. Of, to try to right. come up with something. So. Or just scroll Pinterest. Or yeah. Like, you know, look for That's what I usually ideas. end up going to Pinterest a lot. Um, I could do another Pinterest inspired video. It's been a while since I've done one of those. So, but I got to make sure I'm, I can talk for a long period of time. I sound like yeah. crap right now. So. I know. I took pictures. I was at Aldi's and they had these neat cards with like three different levels that popped up. I don't, you know, I took video and pictures of the card. I was like, okay, how can I recreate this? Because it's a neat thing. So I'm going to try to make one of those. It's like one of those cards where you're like, yeah, Luis Beauregard would be able to yeah. knock it out. I it's think. Time. I'm going to oh, How do I do this? <laughs> you keep talking to them. I'll be right back. I got to show you one. Oh, it, like, just... Okay. 
I think I still have it. Oh, you can <coughs> Gail said she's finding a mystery box that she packed because they came in when I was packing to move. She got it. Well, I'm glad you found your cutie. Which I still think the red carpet mystery box is still available, which is lots of black and white stuff. It has the Merlot cutie in it. I love Alex's chair there. I love the black and purple. Yeah, me too. I got to get a new chair for mine because I like my chair because it's teal, but it's the most uncomfortable chair in all the world. And then when you sit there for a long time, everything hurts. So I'm like, I need something with like, can't just go with the pretty one. Holly, can you make the arrow shoot down slightly on the card to let gravity work with the slider disc? Oh, you could. Yeah. Are you talking about the Cupid with the arrow, Nikki? See, I miss the squeaky chair, Jamie. It's like one of those um, comforts, I guess you would say, you know, because Melody always had the squeaky chair. Oh, don't worry. I still have it. Oh, do you? Good, because when I'm there, I'll sit in it. It's so comfy. <laughs> this, I will say, though, this chair is very FPF. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's so comfortable, too. It's so, it glides. Mm -hmm. So my friend sent me this. It's obviously it's a card that he bought, but he sent me this, and it, it like just it like blows my mind that there's oh, wow. a, a full on like there's so many pieces in there, but it completely folds flat, and I was like, if I could figure out the mechanics of this. But it's wow, that is impressive. I was like, that is such a cool well, thank you, Paul. Welcome again. Another thing, Louise Beauregard would be like, Hold on, give me five minutes, right? <laughs> I've got that. That is so cool like, that to the point where, so like, cool. this just lays on top of it, like, where the piano is open. Wow. And it's got like a. That's where you try to like rug. break it all apart and see. Right. How it all. It's like, hard with that many pieces. Though. Look at all those little pieces. They're all just straight pieces, but they all have. They all just fold in perfectly. I wonder, and I haven't looked, but now I'm just thinking. Like, I wonder if, like, on Amazon, you can buy. You know how they have the musical cards? Yeah. I wonder if you can buy. The musical thing, or whatever. You can. I put it in the card. I have. I have three of them. I plan on making a card yeah, last Christmas. Yeah, I have a whole. I have a card designed in Design Space for that reason. Oh, it's well, a. We need to do. That. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it designed That's for a cool. year. Um, uh, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, well, and I have another idea too. You know how we do like the lanterns, right? Okay, so like think of in the Greatest Showman. When he brings home to his kids that lantern where it spins and yeah. around the room it puts the design. Well, what if you did a land like you have those like motors? What if you that spin? Yeah. What if you put that in there? Could you be some way make where you can cut it out and then the lantern would spin and then it would like put the designs on the wall? Oh right. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's something I can somehow in that figure but that out. Would I'm be sure. Cool. Yeah, I've seen it in The Greatest Showman and then the movie Slumberland that's on Netflix. That's really cool. Um, so, he had. The, I was like, we can make that with the cricket. <laughs> like, I'm sure we can. We just got to figure out how to make it spin. So I'm going to share the screen real quick, Holly. Uh, it's a design space. So I, I can show you this one. So this is the record card. Um, oh. That's cool. This is your card? Yeah. That, we've, that nobody's ever seen, right? No one's ever seen it. Oh, we got to make this happen. So it says, I'll be home for Christmas. And then there's, so inside, there was different ways. So I was going to have where these little dots are right here. That's where the speaker was going to be. And then there's like where mm -hmm. this is right here, this white like button looking thing. There's a sensor. Mm -hmm. So when you open it, it automatically starts playing, and it was going to play I'll Be Home for Christmas. Um, 
or whatever. Uh, you could change it for Valentine's Day for a while. Yeah, you can, you can change it to different songs. You record it and do everything. Um, but yeah, this is, birthday. this is a card I designed that I never made. Um, and then it was going to be... Oh, yeah. Uh, it was going to be veneer and then um, like a red paper again with the, maybe the leather for the... So when you open it... So... That's just, really cool. And then I, I never figured out, I never finished it because I, I don't, it, I never figured out what to put on the front, but that's something easy I can do. Um, yeah. So, but let me know yeah, guys, if you want me to actually like make, make the card. what's uh -huh. up? I was asking them if they want me to actually go through and finally design it and yeah. be done with Everybody's it. Everybody's saying cool. Of course you want to see it. <laughs> it's so cool. So. You could put it on the front, like you make my heart sing, yeah, or something. Um, depending on what it is. Oh, this I didn't do a spiral, but I know the spiral Betty, right, Dawn? I see those, and I really want to do those. I see another thing I really want to do too, and it's um, I want to do it for Connor's room because he's redoing part of his room. Um, one of his favorite songs is called "Family" by Kygo, and they take the lyrics and they did them like in a spiral you know okay. going out all the lyrics and then on the outside was like what do you call it you know like when you play the song where it goes up and down what is that the sound code or whatever yeah, that, something yeah, along those lines and then it cuts the that and it puts it all the way around it okay um and then i was like, wow the weeding of those little tiny words getting a little of the a and the e yeah. and the inside of the d but i do i am gonna work on one of those for his room too yeah, everybody says, yes, Alex, please make it. I'll work on we it next winner, week. I'll work winner. on it next week. I can't believe I just mentioned, like, hey, can we do this? And you're like, by the way. <laughs> I've designed one over a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> over a year ago. Um, I'll work on it next week. I am, I'm going to be out of town this weekend. so. Uh, but I will be, we'll be live tomorrow um, with the, uh, yes. the Hangout. Yes. So tomorrow at 8 p.m. <coughs> Eastern, we will be in the crafting Zoom for all of our Patreon members. Um, but then we'll also be live on YouTube. So if you're not a Patreon member, you can still see what's going on. And we're just going to talk about it's a new member welcome. So people that have been shy to come in or just wasn't sure what it was about, just come check it out. Um, and then just hang out with us and our crafty friends. And then I may not make the card live. I might. Uh, to um, well, because you might need to play with it some, right, so that's kind right. of a hard one to do yeah. live. Till you, yeah, some of them you got it. Some of them are harder to do live because you're like, I think this is gonna work. <laughs> right, Gail, it'd be two p.m. Uh, Eastern. Yeah, two p.m. Eastern. So if you're a Patreon member, we just sent out the link for everything um, for the Zoom in there, and I'll actually send it out to the YouTube supporters and the. Um, Facebook supporters too after I get off here that reminds me I was like wait I got to send it out in the other ones also so we'll be back tomorrow all right awesome we're looking forward to seeing you guys there and now it's thank been an hour <laughs> it's been an hour so thanks for starting our weekend off with us I hope everybody has a good Friday the 13th I hope it's not too <laughs> hopefully the crazies the aren't out tonight yeah. you know uh -huh. I said, hopefully the crazies aren't out tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Or you just, they might be out, so you just stay in. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm driving to St. Pete tonight. Oh, yeah. You are driving to St. Pete. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, a message went out this morning. A message went out this morning in, well, went out, yeah, this morning in Patreon to everybody. And there was a Patreon post, too, um, that went out with all the information for it. So we will see you all later. We will see lots of you tomorrow, hopefully. Tomorrow. You guys have a good weekend. Toodles.